Life Audio. Hi, this is Bonnie Gray, and I'm your host for Breathe, the Stress Less Podcast. I'm so happy that you're here for a special series we are right in the middle of. It's a soul care retreat for Lent. We are on week four, and today we're going to be talking about the topic of what to do when you don't know what to do. You know, when you look ahead and the way just seems uncertain, or maybe you don't even know where that way is. You might be staring at what appears to be a brick wall and you feel stuck. Well, today we're gonna encourage each other because that's the topic we're going to tackle as we step into the journey towards the cross to new life on the other side of the resurrection. And Jesus is our guide. My name is Bonnie, and I'm the author of Sweet Like Jasmine, Whispers of Rest, which is the 40-day soul care journey, with practical tips, things you can do to help your body and your emotions return to a place of calm with God's loving care, and also finding spiritual white space about creating space for rest. I am so passionate about mental health and well-being but specifically how God views it and what are some of the ways that God created our bodies so that we can take steps to restore calm and peace and spark joy. Because you know, God created all of us, all of us meaning our spirit, our heart, our body, and our soul. Jesus says, come to me, all those who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest for your soul. And that's what this time is for. It's for you returning to a place of rest for your soul. Well, we are having so much meaningful time together, aren't we? As we reflect on God's heartbreaking yet soul-filling journey to go to the cross and to experience everything that we experience, the stress, the anxiety of just living a human life. God is just so close to us. When we feel far from him, it's okay because he is still close to us. And when we feel too stressed to pray, we can simply rest because Jesus is praying for us. The scriptures tell us that Jesus is interceding for us. Wow, that is so powerful to imagine Jesus on his knees praying for us. It reminds me of that scene in Gethsemane that we've been very closely looking at. When he was on his knees, the scripture says that he fell to the ground, overwhelmed with what was ahead of him. Well, you know, sometimes when we get to that place of feeling stuck, even though we place our bodies on the bed at night, our mind and our soul is troubled, isn't it? Something happens when you find yourself lying on your bed, unable to fall asleep, not just for one night or two. Sometimes life enters seasons of uncertainty and trials that keep you awake. You feel restless and you search your heart for glimmers of what once made you feel alive, young and innocent, refreshed. Jesus understands and sees that longing inside us. It's this desire to find a way to feel safe and held again. This part of the way he created us, that longing to see what is ahead, the light. As sunlight first warms you in the morning, Jesus draws us near to whisper, I am here. I am making a way for you, with you. And you know, that's that's just a beautiful desire. When we kind of feel stuck, we just, Use that as a prompt, an invitation for us to know we need to lean, lean in to God who knows the way because we don't. And sometimes as we think about that stuck place, we may begin to cry because we miss that nearness of God's touch. In 
la cabeza de Laura durante un Mythic Live. ¿Qué es lo que voy a decir? Hola, soy Laura, amo la música y siempre estoy cantando canciones de los 80. ¡Uy, qué vergüenza! ¿Quién está listo para el quiz musical? ¿Algún fan de la música de los 80? ¡Claro que sí! ¡Yo! Con Mythic Live conoces solteros de forma diferente. Descarga la app de Mythic si tú también vas en serio por algo bonito. ¿Todavía sigues quemando tabaco? Pásate a Aikos, una mejor alternativa a los cigarrillos convencionales. Aikos calienta tabaco en vez de quemarlo. Por eso no genera ceniza ni el molesto olor a humo de cigarrillo. Haz que nada te separe de las personas que quieres y de los planes que más te gustan. Este verano, que nada te pare, que nada te separe. Elige Aikos. Descubre más en Aikos.com. Este producto no está exento de riesgo y con su uso se inhala nicotina, que es adictiva. Dirigido únicamente a fumadores adultos. I found myself in this place too many times exactly as I'm sharing it with you. Those restless, sleepless nights for a long season as I was on my journey to heal from anxiety and to find God's whispers of rest to revitalize my soul. But you know, as I lay there, I found that in that pit of darkness, something beautiful and true, even in that sleeplessness, I found that I could remember God's goodness. And because it told me that it was once in me, I knew that God goodness had still had to be there in me now. In that moment, I chose to believe that remembrance of goodness was my faith still breathing in me. Are you having one of those moments perhaps now where you search your mind How do I get back to that place of where God's goodness is? And we try to think back. Well, we know. We know from your story. We know from your faith that that goodness is still in you because God is with you. He is faithful. His mercies are new every morning. And so we can focus on that. When you feel that stress, that pressure to know the way ahead, Think about his goodness. Think about his love for you. And return to that place where you knew the Holy Spirit was alive in you. And he's still alive in you today. When you feel wounded and God feels far away, every remembrance of God's goodness is evidence of his Holy Spirit moving in your heart. In Isaiah chapter 26, verse 8 to 9, Your name, even your memory, is the desire of our souls. At night, my soul longs for you. Indeed, my spirit within me seeks you diligently. So, you know, when you have that feeling, you know that is a desire. Even the memory is really our soul longing, once again, to seek God diligently. That stirring comes from Jesus. Jesus understands how being wounded, how being stuck, once led him to remember all that captured his heart one dark day. Jesus once felt that dark moment, and he found it in three words spoken after Pilate washed his hands. He released Barabbas, And had Jesus flogged with a cat of nine tails. A cat of nine tails is a whip the Romans used. My friend Kevin Marks, in writing his meditations for Stations of the Cross, tells us, quote, Historians tell us the whip was divided into several strips, each containing shards of broken pottery at their ends, enabling them to cut skin and tear flesh from bone. Most Roman prisoners didn't live through these beatings due to shock and loss of blood. Third century historian Eusebius described the process in grotesque detail. The sufferer's veins were laid bare, and the very muscles, sinews, and bowels of the victim were open to exposure. Unquote. Although crippled by such physical torture, Jesus, who somehow survived, had to endure a deeper wounding, which is found in three words written at the close of the scene in the scriptures. We see this in Matthew 27, 26. Then Pilate released Barabbas to them. 
but he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Those are the three words, handed him over. Jesus was handed over. I can imagine hearing Jesus cry, crying, not out of fear, but out of physical and emotional pain. Jesus was abandoned, completely given up by everyone. Life for Jesus would never be without the scars of betrayal. His story could never be untainted by betrayal, loneliness, and rejection, but Jesus chose it all because behind the brokenness, Jesus carried the memories of why he was willing to live out that story that was rapidly unraveling. Jesus carried live, beautiful memories of how he made you in the secret place, the warmth of your first breath caressing his heart, the sunshine of your smile. Jesus was healing the past by enduring all the brokenness and devastation his body and soul could carry, because in his wounding, Jesus can heal us today. Friend, there is no place we can find ourselves where Jesus will not go, even when it looks like we're facing a brick wall. Jesus knows the way ahead. Jesus makes his home in us, as is. His love is what's going to break through that wall and make a way. God is making a way in you, for you, with you. Jesus is the way. Hi friends, it's Bonnie Gray and this episode of Breathe is sponsored by Dwell. Looking for a fresh way to hear God's voice? Dwell is a Bible app that helps lower stress by listening to scripture. Dwell has tons of scripture playlists, so no matter how you're feeling, you can be encouraged by God's word. I love listening to scripture on my daily walk. That's why I'm thrilled about the Dwell app. They've built a beautiful reading and listening experience for the scriptures in your favorite version of the Bible, read by 10 diverse voices to inspire you. You can download scripture to take on a trip, to the store, or on a walk, making it easy to enjoy God's word no matter how busy life gets. Right now, Dwell is offering an amazing discount for new subscribers. So go to dwellapp.io slash breathe to get 10% off an annual subscription or 30% off for life. You save $60. So visit dwellapp.io slash breathe and breathe in scripture for the rest of this year or for life. En la cabeza de Laura durante un Mythic Live. ¿Qué es lo que voy a decir? Hola, soy Laura, amo la música y siempre estoy cantando canciones de los 80. ¡Uy, qué vergüenza! ¿Quién está listo para el quiz musical? ¿Algún fan de la música de los 80? ¡Claro que sí! ¡Yo! Con Mythic Live conoces solteros de forma diferente. Descarga la app de Mythic si tú también vas en serio por algo bonito. Jesus loves you. He loves me. Passionately, irrevocably, shamelessly and completely. So I just want to ask, friend, today, where are you at? Is there something in front of you that just seems so uncertain? Are you unsure whether or not this is the way to go, where he might be pointing you? Look back. Think back, friend. Where in your story, what have been the roads you've traveled with God and how has he shown you he's made a way for you? I wish I could have a cup of tea with you right now. I would just love to be encouraged and inspired by listening to your story and hearing how God has been the way for you. No matter how whisper thin, imperfect, or insignificant our moments forward may feel, God is making a way for you today. And he's calling you to go no further than just one step in front of you. What is that next step? Just that next step that's in front of you. Jesus is putting his hand in yours to draw you toward him. He's taking that one next step with you. Jesus himself was handed over even until his last breath so that he can make a way for you today so that Jesus can carry you all the way. 
No matter where the journey of life is taking you right now, God's love is strong enough to heal your past, to write a new tomorrow, and love you today right where you're at. Don't let anyone or the hardness of the journey convince you otherwise. Lean in to Jesus. He's making a way for you. Our promise comes today to us from Isaiah 43, 19. See, I'm doing something new. Now it springs forth. Will you not be aware of it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Oh, I love this verse. It's so powerful because it's God's promise that when we don't see a way, God will make a way. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, give me courage to lean in to you, to take just one step you're inviting me to take today, to trust that you'll make a roadway in the wilderness, even rivers in the desert. Even though I can't see the way ahead, I surrender myself to your love because you are the way. You are my way in this very moment today. Thank you for loving me as your heart and body broke. Thank you for your Holy Spirit who heals me and moves me and empowers me to walk just that next step and to pray. I love you. I am yours today. Always. Amen. Tomorrow, friends, can be different. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. What is the one thing God is inviting you to lean into today with him? It might not seem small, but in God's eyes, it's a big step of faith. And I am so proud of you. Together, we are going to make this journey by faith. How is God asking you to make different choices from the past? What is that roadway in the wilderness for you? Maybe there's a path that you would never would have even considered because you thought, well, that's not leading anywhere. And yet God says, I'm making a roadway in the wilderness. Dear friend, I have a soul care tip for you today. This soul care tip is one of my favorites. It's aromatherapy. Aromatherapy energizes and restores calm to your body and spirit. Explore which scents feel nurturing and healing to your soul. You know, our feelings are connected to our body's response. When we feel overwhelmed, our God-designed nervous system alerts us with fast heartbeats, triggering stress, anxiety, and feelings of depression. Just as Jesus' loving presence calms our spirit, natural God-given scents also signal calm to our nervous system. It turns out as I did some studying about the research behind it, our sense of smell is linked to the feeling part of our brains. You know that part that stresses out that feeling part of our brain? Well, sense of smell is linked to that area. And so science shows that aromas powerfully affect our emotional well-being. A study of female nursing students found that the fragrance of lavender effectively improved depression and insomnia. So I'm kind of giving away to you my favorite scent. I love the scent of lavender. It helps our body relax. A Mayo Clinic research found that smelling orange oil for five minutes reduced stress and anxiety responses in vital symptoms after participants took a test. So that's another scent is orange. Just this like a citrus scent. Peppermint soothes headaches, boosting memory while lemon energizes. Those are the two things. Also, I love to have a cup of peppermint tea and that's how I end the day with Eric. We both have a a cup of peppermint tea and after the kids have already been put to bed and then we just have a cup of peppermint tea and relax and share with each other some of our highlights from our day. What calms you is unique to each person. So it's God's natural way of helping our bodies return to a place of rest. 
So friends, thank you for spending this time as we step together on this journey with Jesus towards the cross, and we find that He is just so close to us. He understands us. I hope that you're feeling blessed. I invite you to come to my website, thebonniegray.com slash subscribe. I have a Lent devotional that you can download so that you can spend time to just soak in the truths and to get these soul care challenges to reinforce that you are worth caring for. Go to sweetlikejasmine.com slash subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at thebonniegray. Finally, invite your friends, join us on this journey towards Lent so that we can really soak in God's love and care because Lent means spring, nurturing your soul as springtime for your soul is the garden that we want to tend to. I will see you next time. We're going to be talking about the topic of what to do when we feel broken about healing beauty. So I'm so excited to meet you, meet with you next week. Remember you're loved, you're cherished, just rest. Hey everyone. Thanks for listening to Breathe, the Stress Less podcast, a production of lifeaudio.com and the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to your favorite podcast app and leave us a review. It really does help people find us. To learn more about Bonnie Gray or to check out any of the resources she mentioned in this episode, just head over to her website, thebonniegray.com, or check out our show notes. This episode was produced by me, Kelly Givens, and edited by Stephen Sanders. A special thanks to our executive producer, Stephen McGarvey. For more Faith Toolkit podcasts, head over to lifeaudio.com. Hi, friends. It's Bonnie Gray, and this episode of Breathe is sponsored by Dwell. Looking for a fresh way to hear God's voice? Dwell is a Bible app that helps lower stress by listening to scripture. Dwell has tons of scripture playlists, so no matter how you're feeling, you can be encouraged by God's word. I love listening to scripture on my daily walk. That's why I'm thrilled about the Dwell app. They've built a beautiful reading and listening experience for the scriptures in your favorite version of the Bible, read by 10 diverse voices to inspire you. You can download scripture to take on a trip, to the store, or on a walk, making it easy to enjoy God's word no matter how busy life gets. Right now, Dwell is offering an amazing discount for new subscribers. So go to dwellapp.io slash breathe to get 10% off an annual subscription or 30% off for life. You save $60. So visit dwellapp.io slash breathe and breathe in scripture for the rest of this year or for life. The reasons to treat yourself to a frozen drink from McDonald's go on and on and on. It's more than a drink. It's a McDonald's drink. Enjoy any medium frozen carbonated beverage or slushy like the new Dr. Pepper flavor for $1.79 or tropical mango slushy for $1.99. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer. Dr. Pepper is a registered trademark of Dr. Pepper 7-Up 8. Minute Maid is a registered trademark of the Coca-Cola Company.